and welcome back to a new video. As promised, today I'm going to be filming my May haul. Again, I know it is, it's a little bit late, but I did talk about that in yesterday's video, so I won't really get into it here. So let's just get straight into it. Um, my birthday was in May as well, so I do have quite a few birthday presents in here also. Um, but as always, we will start with the films. So the first lot of films will be the Monday Movie Hunt films. So first of all, we have Early Man. I have not yet watched this yet. Um, you'll kind of see there's quite a few things I haven't done yet because I've just been really busy in the month of May particularly and still a bit in June but either way I haven't watched this one yet but I will be watching it soon it's an Aardman film so I'm looking forward to it then we have Winchester I have seen this one and I wasn't a huge fan of it I will be talking about it in my May slash June what I watched I've combined them just because I haven't really watched anything in May really um, I was interested in the story, I thought the cast was interesting, but it kind of just fell short. Uh, but again, I'll talk about it more there. So I have seen that one. Then we have Downsizing. Everybody said really bad things about this one, everyone didn't seem to like it. I actually, I thought it was okay. I enjoyed it more than I thought it was going to. Again, we'll discuss it in, in another video. Then we have Molly's Game, which I have seen. Of course, we have Coco, which again, I have seen. This. I really enjoyed, but I did think I was going to enjoy it a little bit more than I did. Um, I don't know, I really did enjoy it. I just, the Pixar films haven't been quite um, to the level that I wanted for the past couple. I don't know, it's, this wouldn't ever be my favourite top 5, top 10 Pixar, I would say. Uh, but I do need to watch it again. Um, but I did really enjoy it. I feel like I'm saying bad things about it. I, I really did enjoy it, I just... Uh, my expectations were really quite high for this. The next one I watched was The Commuter, which was just okay. It was kind of a bit of a mess. It was a little bit weird. I don't know. But I do quite like Liam Neeson. Then we've got three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. This was fantastic. Uh, the, performance in th the performances in this were incredible. Again, we'll talk about it more in another video, but I have seen this and I did really enjoy it. One of my favourite films of the year, The Greatest Showman. Uh, I was so glad that I wasn't disappointed by this. I've actually watched this twice. I love it. Uh, the Blu-ray came out on my birthday, so it was just fantastic. I watched it on my birthday. Um, yeah, I love this. It's brilliant. Then we've got The Post. I enjoyed this so much more than I thought I was going to. I thought it was going to be a bit of a... Um, almost maybe a boring watch. It definitely wasn't. I really enjoyed it, but I guess it, it is personal taste on what you enjoy. But obviously, the performances were great. I would watch it again as well, so there is that. Then we have All the Money in the World, which I have not seen yet. And 12 Strong, which again, I have not seen yet. So there's all the Monday Movie Hunt films. Let me put those to the side. Ah, and I do have a couple of other films. I think two, yeah, two films. And I also got in May, which were for my birthday. So the first one is 99 Homes. Now this was actually sent to me um, from Kevin, so I really, really appreciate this. And I was super excited because this has got Andrew Garfield in. And in May, at the very beginning of May, I watched the film Legend uh, with Tom Hardy. And on that film, the one of the first trailers is 99 Homes. And I said, oh my gosh, that's what that film is. I desperately want to watch it now. And I said that if I owned the film, obviously at the time I didn't, I would put that film in, you know, in that moment. I don't know if you've ever done that. If you watch a trailer and you really want to watch that film because the trailer's come up at the beginning. Um, so yeah, I was super, super excited to watch this. I really wanted to watch it really soon, but again, I just didn't get around to it in May because I hadn't watched very many films. Um, so it is still sealed, but I am hoping to watch this very, very soon and I am really looking forward to it. I do love Andrew Garfield as well. So that's that one. And then the next one my mum got me for my birthday and that is Giovanni's Island. Uh, this is like an anime, Japanese anime type of film. And I think it's based during the Second World War uh, in Japan. Um, I'm not 100% sure that's correct. Um, yeah, I think it is, Second World War. So I'm expecting it to be a bit heavy hitting, maybe similar to-ish, maybe Grave of the Fireflies. So I'm going to kind of wait for the right time to watch this but I am really looking forward to watching this one so if you've seen it I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comments below okay now let's just go on to some random things so Josh got me for my birthday the Funko Moana and Pua because Pua is literally one of my favourites ever um, you guys will know I desperately wanted him to be in the film more I love him I always watch the music videos from Moana like all the time but I've only seen the film once 
before my birthday, after Josh had bought this, he bought it like quite like a couple of weeks before my birthday. Uh, so after he bought this, but before my birthday, I said, oh, I really want to watch Moana again. So Josh said, oh yeah, I can watch Moana. We got the 3D Blu-ray out. The Blu-ray's not in there. The 3D is, but the Blu-ray's not. I have no idea where it is, and I can't rewatch it yet. So I'm desperate to rewatch it. Um, I am keeping this Funko in the box for now, just because I'm moving, um, and I'll be moving the Funko Pops, so then I'll take it out of the box afterwards. Uh, I just don't want to lose little Pua. Uh, but yes, that's super, super cute. I love, again, I love Pua, and uh, this is a really cool pop, so I love that. The next thing is something that Josh got me for my birthday, and it's the coolest thing you'll ever see. It's Studio Ghibli Socks. So we've got My Neighbor Totoro, Howl's Moving Castle, Kiki's Delivery Service, and Spirited Away. I couldn't even believe it. It was just one of the best things ever. I was like, oh my gosh, these are incredible socks. I just don't even want to lose a sock. I'm, I always lose like one sock. And I love these, and I think they're just amazing. My favourite ones are the Kiki ones. Uh, the, I don't know, I just like the colouring and... They're just really, really cute. So I love the Kiki ones best, then probably um, the Totoro ones. I kind of wish the Totoro ones would have been like this grey colour, um, but still, obviously it doesn't matter, but they're just so cute and I love them. I couldn't even believe that that was a thing, so I was super, super excited by those. And then to go along with that, Josh got me the book for my neighbour Totoro, or Totoro. Totoro, Totoro. Yeah, that's a little song. Da, da, da. I always probably say it wrong, uh, but this is my favourite Shudu Ghibli film. Um, so he got me the book and it's all illustrated and um, it's based you know, on the original story and the art by Harry Miyazaki. So this is just a really beautiful book and I absolutely love it. So there is that. And then my mum got me a couple of books for my birthday. She got me The Witches of New York, which I'm super excited about. It sounds fantastic. It's quite a big book. Well, kind of. It's not huge, but... I'm really, really looking forward to this. I'm planning on reading it during the kind of fall autumn season. Um, my mum got me The Rules of Magic for Christmas, which was another witch book, and um, the sequel to Practical Magic, and I loved it so much, and um, so I can't wait to read this. And then she also got me, um, I'm currently reading it, so this is just a dust jacket, The Tattooist of Auschwitz. Auschwitz. Um, this, obviously, it's, it's, it's only about 270 pages, uh, but it is a book that kind of takes you some time to read because it is based on a true story of, you know, the real uh, man. His name's Lael. Um, so, so Colby? I'm not sure. I don't want to butcher his name, but it is a true story of um, this man and his story is really incredible. Um, and what he went through is crazy and it just seems so, like, such an unreal thing. Um, so it's hard to remember, you know, this really happened. Uh, and the stories he's got to tell are crazy, and it's just I don't even know. So you kind of you kind of take your time reading it because it's obviously you know it's really important, and it's not just something you can fly through. So I am currently reading this. Um, I'm sure you've probably all heard of it. Actually, it's quite a big um, bestseller at the moment. Um, so quite a few of you might have read this. But yes, yeah, so that's the that one. Uh, the dust jacket for it. Um, I will show you. I don't know what to show you next. Um, I got some things off off one of my friends. I got a notebook, Explore, Dream and Discover. This is just a really cute notebook with some maps on. And there's some other stuff in here. Ooh, a um, lenticular giraffe bookmark, a National Geographic giraffe bookmark. I love it. I'm so excited. I need to take this out of the uh, packet and use it uh, really soon. Because, oh my god, look at it. It's just... It's just so good. I love this. I was so excited. I was like, oh my god, that's the best thing ever. Giraffes are my favourite animal, so. And then there's also, and I can't believe I've not eaten this yet, a chocolate bar and a really cool glittery pen. Hang on. Does it do it? Oh, it does move, I'm sure. Move! Oh no, oh no. The pen is wet. The pen is wet. It's a glittery pen. It has liquid in it. I'm sure it's wet, so I think it's leaked a bit. Unless it's just like, because it's been cold. I don't know. Well, there we go. It's moving now. I'm gonna have to investigate of whether or not the pen is just. I don't know. Anyway, there's the pen. Okay, so next up, Josh got me this 200 cakes and bakes because I'm always wanting to bake things, and it's just a small book with literally all the 
baking things you would ever want to bake and again as I've probably said a million times we are um, moving so I'm thinking of putting like a little um, bookshelf thing like a little square um, in the kitchen to put all cookbooks on and stuff so this is super cute I was really excited about that and then he also got me Assassin's Creed Black Flag which is the Assassin's Creed game that I've been saying forever that this is the one I was going to play next Assassin's Creed is literally one of my favourite game franchises ever I absolutely love it um, and then obviously I found out that Assassin's Creed Odyssey is coming out in October I couldn't have been more excited um, but still I'm super happy that I've got Black Flag now because I am desperate to play this and I think it's going to be you know one of my favourites I know people love um, Black Flag in terms of the whole series and um, this is some people's favourite um, my favourite is still Syndicate and then um, at Origins I did love a lot uh, but yeah really really looking forward to Black Flag and I did some boat things in Origins so it'll kind of be um, similar to that so that's really really good and then Josh did get me two books as well for my birthday he got me to Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Chris Christio um, which I'm really excited for I think I'm going to be reading this this month after I finish The Tattooist of Auschwitz uh, I'm planning to read To Kill a Kingdom and then he also got me which I was super excited about Ink and Bone this is based on some kind of it is based in Egypt it's based on the fact that if the Great Library of Alexandria wasn't destroyed what um, information that it would have I suppose and so obviously we're spending so much time in Egypt on Assassin's Creed Origins I absolutely can't wait to read this as well so I'm super excited about that uh, I'm just trying to find where to put things and then another thing that um, Josh got me for my birthday was this game which I haven't played yet um, but I really really want to play it soon but you do need a lot of space and it is um, Kodama the Tree Spirit and the artwork on this looks so beautiful but you kind of like lay out all these cards and lay out all the trees so we kind of need quite a bit of space to play it um, but I am hoping to play it soon because it just looks so pretty and I just can't wait to you know actually have a go of it and play it so yeah can't wait for that I think while we're on to board games I'll show you the other two that I picked up in May uh, I also picked up Century Gollum, Gollum Edition this is so fun it's really easy to learn it's super super fun it's kind of a trading game and you're trying to buy the cards with gems it's absolutely beautiful um, let me try and show you it has these really cool let me show you let me show you okay so it has these really cool gem pots in look at these there's four um, different colours there's blue, green, pink and yellow seriously there's gems everywhere now oh my gosh I dropped one down there oh god this was not a good idea not a good idea okay I'll go get that other one after I'm gonna have to get this one out right now though it's just gonna kill me come on it's stuck in the cards come on gem come on I can't get it Anyway, there's these really large cards, and it's just really cool. Uh, so we played this a couple of times, actually. It's really quite quick to play as well. And it comes with metal coins, which is just so cool. I need to remind myself I need to go and get the yellow gem that I spilled over there after. But for now, I'm going to put the lid on, otherwise there'll be more gems everywhere. Uh, but yeah, so I absolutely recommend this. It is quite a new game. I think it came out... Um, it came out definitely this year uh, this edition century spice road has been out a while uh, this is the golem edition so i don't know if this is a bit high so i'm just gonna there we go uh, but yes is that one and then if you watch my other video you'll know i picked this up this is incredible i recommend it completely harry potter hogwarts battle this is a fantastic game i absolutely love it it's it's brilliant. I do want to make a whole video on this because I couldn't recommend this enough. Um, Josh has also enjoyed this so much. He kept saying, can we play Harry Potter? And I didn't think it'd be his type of thing. It's a deck building game, but it's cooperative and it's absolutely brilliant. It's a really heavy box though, so I'm going to put it down. Um, but yeah, I would like to do a video on this because it's, it's so good. If you're kind of thinking about getting it, I would absolutely recommend it. Um, it really is fantastic. So I loved that. And we have played that a couple of times as well. So that's really really fantastic and again if you're a Harry Potter fan I feel like I couldn't recommend it enough it's just uh, every the way it plays is just so brilliant it kind of builds it up and builds it up and it's really really good okay so the next thing I'll show you is the thing that I bought on the same day as the Harry Potter thing and that is the art of Zootropolis 
I wasn't sure whether we were calling it Zootopia or Zootropolis. I do have quite a few of these art of books and so th at the moment I actually can't get to them. Um, but when I move I'm obviously going to be taking them out and I'm going to be putting them on a, on a special shelf. Um, so when I do do that I will do a video of my art book collections because I think these are really really beautiful and I love I love these especially this one because I absolutely love this film and everything they did in the world of it is just brilliant so yeah I loved that um, I'll probably next just show you the last few books that I have I pre-ordered quite a few of these so we've got How To Be I pre-ordered this came out in May I have read this one and I thought it was okay I, I mean part of me I really really thought it was really good and then when I looked back on it in hindsight I kind of expected a little bit more in terms of how the bees actually went to um, basically it's about the, the, the fact there's no bees left on earth and now uh, they use children to pollinate and everything like that which is really really interesting and the main character was interested it brought up a lot of interesting subjects but it didn't really discuss the bees too much so there was that but I did enjoy it uh, then next I've got ink this wasn't a pre-order but the new one Spark came out in May so I decided to pick up Ink and I love this cover it's so uh, cool and shiny and then I did pre-order um, Ari Shah and the End of Time this is from the Rick Riordan Presents line there's three books coming out this year this is the first one and I'm going to be picking up the next two as well because I absolutely love Rick Riordan so obviously these books are books that he uh, recommends I've been hearing fantastic things about this one so I absolutely can't wait to read it and again I'm hoping to read it this month along with To Kill a Kingdom as well. And then next we have, again pre-ordered this one for May, American Panda. Um, so this is a contemporary book and I'm just really really looking forward to reading this one. It's kind of larger than other books uh, in terms of height. But anyway, uh, yes, really looking forward to that one. So in the month of May I did go a little bit crazy on Switch games. I have recently gotten very into the Switch and I would say in June the similar problem occurs super into the Switch games, super into the Switch, I absolutely just love it um, so I did pick up quite a few games for it here so first we've got Wonder's Boy, no, Wonder Boy and the Dragon's Trap I can't speak today, the art style of this is absolutely beautiful I mean it looks how this cover looks um, this is a hard game though uh, obviously it's a retro game, it's just a re-design um, which is beautiful and it is pretty tough. I've only played about an hour and a half of it so far but inside you get a nice little key ring, you get a, um, what is this, the soundtrack, there you go, soundtrack sampler which is just, I mean look at that tiny little disc and you also get the instruction booklet which is in all full colour. Um, so this is just, you know, it's beautiful and um, this is by um, Nicholas or Nicla Nic I've heard people say Nicholas so I presume that's how you say it and they just put such a um, effort into the presentation of you know the box and everything it comes with um, so definitely would recommend this if you enjoy 2D uh, platformers I love that one and then the next one I picked up is Snow Motto Racing Freedom they also have a C one as well and I was planning on picking up both um, but this one I've I've not gotten super into it so far, I thought I'd get more into it and I feel like I would but obviously I've picked up quite a few games so this one's the one that's been kind of put to the back burner I just thought it would be a little bit, a little bit different I'm kind of maybe thinking, I feel like it's not in here, oh, it is um, I'm kind of maybe thinking I wish I would have picked up the aqua one, the sea water one, it's got dolphins in, all sorts um, but anyway, you know, I went for the snow one, I was hoping it would be a bit like SSX, it's not really because it's snowmobiles uh, but it is really cool and it is really fun but it's very hard to control I've heard that as you get on and as you get better snowmobiles it gets easier I remember when I first got cars on the Switch, cars driven to win or something I found it really hard to control and then now I love that game, I play it loads and it's fine to control so we'll see then the next one is Xenoblade Chronicles 2 this is more Josh's game than mine. Um, I haven't actually played it, played it, but I've watched quite a lot of it. He's put um, quite a few hours into it, and I've watched quite a bit. Um, and some of it is really, really cute. You have these cool companions, and I actually really don't know quite how it works. But like I say, I've watched some of it, so it's kind of one of those. I remember when he played Resident Evil. Um, I can't remember which one it's called. 
Um, I really don't remember. And I watched most of that game, but I didn't play any of it myself. So, I don't know. Uh, to be fair, when we play Assassin's Creed, for the most part, I play and he watches, but he still counts it that he played it. Because, you know, sometimes I let him be like, okay, you do this quest or whatever. Um, but I actually haven't played any of this, but I've watched quite a bit of it. Next we have a really fun couch cop game. I've been desperately waiting to get this and it's Super Chariot. I wanted this so badly for so long, uh, but it was so expensive to download on the PlayStation 4. And I always prefer to have physical games. And this came for Lentic to slip cover. This gets pretty hard, but I'm absolutely loving it. It's a co-op game, so you end up arguing and shouting and be like, no, go there, no, you did it wrong, oh, you fell down. Uh, but it's so much fun, I absolutely recommend this. If you haven't heard of this Switch game, definitely look it up if you've got somebody else um, you can play with. I think you can play it by yourself as well, but I think it would be harder, possibly. Yeah, but yeah, I love it. It's fantastic. I think it's a really long game as well. There's a lot of levels, so this is going to take us many, many, many hours to complete. Sometimes it takes us half an hour to do one level. Um, so yeah, it's a brilliant game though. And then of course in May... Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze came out, so of course I had to pick this up. I did own it on the Wii U, and I found it pretty hard, but I really enjoyed it. I didn't complete it on the Wii U, though. But when I heard it was coming on the Switch, I thought this, it just couldn't be better. It couldn't be a better system for it. I was so excited. It's a beautiful game. It definitely deserves... I am happily to buy it twice um, and kind of double dip on this one. I bought it years ago uh, on the Wii U for... I don't think it was quite full price, I think it was like £30 and then this one I think it was like, I don't know, it might have been £45 or £50 uh, but it's such a beautiful game that it deserves kind of the money, you know, to purchase it so that's kind of how I feel about this one because it is absolutely incredible, the music is fantastic, the worlds are brilliant the mechanics are just genius, it's just an absolutely fantastic game so I love it, uh, so I've been loving playing this and I'm on only World 3 but it's just absolutely fantastic so yeah, those are the Switch games that I picked up in May and so if you like Switch games there will definitely be um, quite a few as well in a month June so we will see and then one of the last things I did pick up I picked up the Assassin's Creed 2 official guide I've been absolutely loving my guide for Breath of the Wild and so I thought okay well I'm part way through playing Assassin's Creed 2 uh, but I find that I get lost and confused because I've for the most part I only play the newer games so obviously this is different uh, so I thought you know if I get the guide and I kind of read through it and if I get a bit stuck I can use the guide and obviously it's all full of colour and all pretty I bought it um, second hand of course because they don't uh, still print it um, but it's in really good condition and I was just super super happy to have it I got it super cheap and um, so yeah that was a really cool another like Assassin's Creed thing that I picked up in May and then finally, finally, I will show you guys the, of course, the magazines I picked up. Uh, you guys know I always pick up the same magazines every month. Um, so first we have All About History, which is the um, the Witch Hunt Trials. So that's what this month is about. And obviously it's got loads of other, other things in too. Um, but they've got like, hang on, like beautiful, full, really colourful pages. So yeah, everything about these I absolutely love. I don't know if anyone's then since found them of interest since I showed them or not, but I love them. So that's all about history for May. Then we've got History Revealed, which is the Hitler uh, Rise of a Dictator uh, one. I actually haven't read all these ones yet because I've just been um, busy or behind. Oh, Tales A to Z of the Toilet, History of the Toilet. It's kind of a weird page to stop on, I suppose. Um, let's see. There's like just all sorts of stuff in them. So yeah, that's History Revealed. Next we've got How It Works, uh, Life in 2050, which to be fair, futuristic stuff doesn't super interest me. Um, but there is also quite a few other bits and bobs in here. Let's see, let's find a... Like look, look at this, it's about the railway system, um, which is cool. And then they've also got, oh, Inside Hampton Court, um, which I found really, really interesting. Uh, let's find it, let's find it. Where is it? That science space, maybe it's before transport. They split it all into sections, 
no, it's not before transport. Maybe it's at the very end. Where's history? Environment? Science? Where is history? Is it environment? I thought it was in history. Technology? Hmm. They've also got about the new National G. Oh, history. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Ta da! So I thought that was super cool. That was my favourite bit of that one. And then we have World of Animals, and this was Garden Secrets. This is one I haven't read yet at all. So, ooh, look at that. It's got some beautiful pictures and everything. So yeah, I would recommend these. Um, I just couldn't really recommend them enough. Oh, I won't show you that page. That was a really horrible page. It was about like saving animals and being vegan, but it showed you like really horrible <laughs> things. Um, it's like a garden page with a robin and a bat. So yeah, that was my May haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. My favourite thing of the month, um, possibly, probably, the Shido Ghibli socks. I mean, they just blew me away. Um, but yeah, and oh, Harry Potter. The Harry Potter game is absolutely brilliant. I couldn't recommend it enough. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you have any thoughts on any of the things. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And then I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye!